so my fear of uh, directly going into the ER um, or a major hospital, I think stem from my childhood and even going into my teenage years. I didn't have a ton of family members that went, even if they were going through things or issues themselves and needed to see a doctor, they wouldn't go. So I think it was just a fear that I had in my mind that if I go in there, I wasn't gonna make it back out. I didn't think it was doctors or anybody in there that I could trust because nobody looked like me. I've had experience with, experiences with, you know, uh, receiving horrible health care when I've had to get it. And I think it just lingered on into adulthood where it was like, I didn't believe in going there because I didn't trust anybody. But for somebody who may have the same fear that I have, I would just inform everybody to do the proper research and give themselves some time to be comfortable with going in the ER and trusting their life in the hands of somebody else. I now know who I would want to speak to specifically that could help me get the right information and go in more depth. You know, what these infusions actually do, the true cognitive impairments that it caused, the high percentage of those who are diagnosed with cancer who get mental health disorders. I was not prepared for any of that.